Hello day learners, I'm back. So I hope you had a meaningful home week. So last time we had discussed how to use the law of sines and oblique triangles and now we are going to use law of cosines. So law of cosines can be used for finding the third side of a triangle with two sides and an angle between them which are already given and we may also use this in finding the angles of an oblique triangle with all the three sides given. So let's get started. Alright, so suppose you were given triangle ABC with side A which is already given, so that's 12 units, side B which measures 15 units, and an angle between them which measures 30 degrees. That is the angle C. Now, you were asked to find the measure of side C. So, in this case, we may not use a Pythagorean theorem because as we all know, Pythagorean theorem can only be used in right triangles and this is a big triangle. So, we can use here the law of cosines. So, the law of cosines states that the square of side C is equal to the sum of the square of sides A and B minus twice the product of side A and side B times the cosine of angle C. Or if you were asked to find the measure of side A, you may use A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times cosine of angle A. If you are asked to find the measure of side B, you may use A squared plus C squared minus twice side A side C times cosine of angle B. Notice that the angles here correspond to the side that we are looking for. Alright? Now, since we are looking for side C here, we may use this formula. Let's find that. So, that's the square of C is equal to the sum of the square of sides A and B minus 2 times A times B times cosine of angle C. Alright? So, it's just a simple substitution. So, side A, that's 12 squared plus 15 squared minus 2 times 12 times 15 times the cosine of angle C, that's 30 degrees. Okay? So, using your calculators, you may now, so for this, it's just 12 squared, so that's 144 plus 15 squared, 225, um, negative 2 times 12 times 15, that's um, negative 360 times cosine of 30 degrees. For you to get, get it easier using the calculator, you may just press 144 plus 225 minus 360 times cosine of 30 degrees. And that would be equal to 57.230 and so on. And since We are looking for we are looking for a C and not the square of C. We may just extract the square root of both sides. All right. So since we extracted the square root of both sides, so we only have here side C, and the square root of the answer would be seven point five seven units. Since we rounded up to the nearest. Hundreds. So that's it. That is the measure of side C. Okay, so again, I'm going to leave here an activity. So suppose you're given a big triangle ABC with side C, which measures 7, and side B, which measures 13, and the angle between them is angle A, which measures 55 degrees. So you may use any of these for you to find out the measure of side A. So that's all for today. I hope you are all doing fine. Let us keep the faith. Let's keep on praying. We will get through this. Goodbye. God bless you all.